HTTP 402 has basically been sat on the shelf gathering dust for the last 30 years, okay? Getting a credit card payment or using Bitcoin even was just not just not feasible for using a payment gateway within HTTP because of how long it would take to actually settle. But now, now we have layer twos, we have stable coins, we have very, very fast transactions and many minimal fees. It means that HTTP 402 finally sees the sunlight, guys. And if you actually look here at how easy it is to integrate X402 into existing, you know, into existing software, you can see just a single line of code in your app and you can require a USDC payment for each incoming request. Now, you might think, is X402 just a fad? I'm telling you now, it's not just a fad, guys. Why wouldn't any existing educational alpha provider, anybody, not use this? You know, AI agents has been a big problem. You know, AI in general, there's been lots of lawsuits, lots of cases, you know, from the New York Times and many, many other big media outlets of AI basically just using its data for free to educate itself and then go and monetize that. There's been so many court cases, but now finally, using X402, there's a way for AI agents to actually start paying autonomously for the data and the educational data that they're using uh, for each and every call, an API call, and that's using USDC here, as you can see. And it's so easy to integrate, like I said, one line of code, that's it. If a, if a request arrives without payment, the server responds saying no, and if X402 allows a payment and they have money in their connected wallet, they'll let it go through, simple as that.